Hey beer people, what's up y'all? Bruce Brothers here tonight, man. And we're here at the Conquest Beer Dinner in Columbia, South Carolina. Obviously, we're at Liberty Tap Room. We're pretty excited, man. Things gonna be pretty dope. We have what? We have uh, six, six different beers, five courses. Yep. We're pretty excited, man. It's gonna be a pretty long night. A pretty beer, long night. A beer and food, and food man. And the nurse chef here does uh, doing some special stuff for Liberty tonight, so that's what's pretty right. excited about the food so and, the, and the beverage. Yeah, food and beverage, man. Conquest Beer Dinner. Bruce Brothers. Alright y'all, so we're getting ready for the beer dinner. It's 631. 631. I'm, so pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry, so it's about time. Speaking of hungry, man, I think we'll tell y'all a little bit about our um, our menu tonight, man. We're gonna have look at that, man. Pork belly salad. Ooh. That with that we got the, the first beer growth. First growth. First growth is the beer that we're gonna be having paired with that. Um, the second course is ponds. You know what ponds is? I, I do, but I don't remember. Ponds will be our next our, our next course, and we also got sticky ribs, venison, and ice cream moon pie. Man, and we got all kind of crazy beers, man, which we're gonna cover a little bit more as we go through it. You got the Seven Seas coming up, uh, the Bipolar High Roller, uh, along with the uh, Warrior Heart uh, Double Hop uh, Dry IPA, and the Medusa Stout. The Medusa Stout, which, which I've had a few of them, which I've had a few of them, and they're actually pretty good, man. <laughs> That's a good food lined up for you with some paired beers. We'll check the menus there. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to Joseph and Jeff. Tell you a little bit about the brewery and your first beer that you're drinking, the Arms Lawn. And as we go through the uh, menu tonight, they're going to describe the beers to you. And my kitchen manager, Brick, is going to describe the dishes to you. So I'll talk you through it. Hope everybody enjoys it. And that's it. How y'all doing? Yeah. 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 Good to see all y'all here. Thanks uh, so much for coming out and, and supporting us. Um, we've been very, uh, we've been overwhelmed with support from Columbia. It's really been, it's really been a treat to uh, to see just how well we've been received and how how much people love to have um, their own local brewery. Um, you guys say hi to Jeff. This is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. He, uh, hi, Jeff. He is the guy that you'll see if you go down to the brewery on Tasting Room um, nights. He uh, he runs that place. So the first beer you have tonight, um, this is uh, this is Artemis Blonde. It's one of our year-round flagship beers. Um, it's a 4.2 percent American Blonde Ale. Uh, we brew it with some wheat malt, um, which is where you get kind of the grainy um, character from, the uh, the bready malt character. Um, we use uh, Belma hops in the late edition, which is a new um, new hop that just came out last year. Um, as far as I know, we were the first brewery producing a commercial beer with Belma hops because it came out in November and we started producing Sacred Heart and Artemis in um, January. And so, um, so we were quick on the draw there. But it's um, it has a subtle hint of kind of a pineapple character. It's a, it's a very tropical hop. You get a lot more of that in Sacred Heart um, and, uh, and Warrior Heart, some of the other ones that we, uh, that we brew. Um, but we brewed this for um, Columbia summers, for football games, for, um, you know, the heat around here. Um, <laughs> just a nice, light, refreshing um, beer and easy drinking, not too high in alcohol, so it won't get you tanked. Um, which is why we can pour such a big pour. <laughs> but that's the first one. Thank you guys. And I think Greg is going to come out and talk about the food. So we got our first beer. Uh, we got the Artemis. The Artemis Blonde is our intro beer. Oh man, I already sipped mine. What's it smell like? It smells a little, a little uh, cloudy, but we'll give it a shot. It's blonde. Artemis Blonde. Cheers again. Let's see what it's like. That's good, man. It's a good light beer. That's a good intro beer. All right, now we're about to try our first growth. It's the Honey Clementine Wheat Beer. Oh, it smells pretty good. good, man. Let's try this, man. Let's give it a shot. I definitely would drink it again. It's almost not smoky, but no, it's a light wheat. It's real light. It's real light wheat. It doesn't have the clove kind of flavor you'd expect from right. a wheat beer. Um, it's good though. It's smooth, man. Yeah, definitely Way good. To go. First course, man. Pork belly salad, man. I'm, I'm so happy because this is not really a salad. It's not, it's not as salad y as it sounds. It's like meat and beans, man. It looks good, man. Yeah. Pork belly salad. I'm gonna try this out. Paired with the first growth, man. That's what it's like. Oh, it's pretty good. That is good, man. 
approved. Let's take a sip of your beer, man. Let's see. Now that's, that's a, a good, good beer. beer. Yeah, that's exactly. Beer, We're enjoying our first meal. Yeah, it was okay. It's I mean, all right, man. It was a bad. I want some meat, man. Yeah. I want some meat. You ready for some? Meat? I'm ready for some. Meat. I want some some hearty stuff, man. But it was good. Pork pork belly salad. It wasn't bad. Pork wasn't bad. Pork belly tasted better than I thought. Yeah, I, I thought it was gonna be like rubbery, Disgusting. Like rubbery or nasty, but yeah, it's pretty good. So there you go. We're pretty excited, man. Um, give y'all an idea what we What's got going, going on. on. All kind of folks out here, man. Having good times. We even got DJ. We even got DJ, man. How you like your beer, man? Yeah. I think it goes good with that uh, salad that we had. It does go good with the salad. I probably wouldn't drink it without that. Never. That's so true. Yeah, really, really hoppy flavor to it. Uh, not something I really like, but it goes good with that. Like the sweetness. Yeah. Kind of it's, like it. it's crazy because um, every time I hear uh, the word honey clementine, I think of that cartoon. You know, that guy singing about the little clementines. I think it's like Warner Brothers or something, man. I don't know. All right, we're on our uh, second course of beer. The second course of beer, we're doing the Seven Seas Pale Ale. Seven Seas Pale Ale. Um, it, it's supposed to have a, like a Sierra Nevada type flavor yeah. to it, going on what the brewmaster was telling us. We've got um, seven different hops. In seven there. different so, hops, man. Hence the Seven Seas. We're gonna give it a shot, man. The Seven Seas. Cheers. Now that's good. That's good, man. It's really hoppy. Well balanced hop character. It's really. balanced, but it is pretty hoppy. Um. It's got a That's good, good dry finish. To it. It's yeah. got a dry finish. I really enjoy this one. I really enjoy this one, man. This, this was a good brew, man. Good brew. Seven Seas Pale Ale. We got our next meal up, man. What you got to say? I think you got a lot man, to say about we it. Got pro this f***er has eyeballs, man. Eyeballs. I hope y'all see that's. I thought I knew what a prawn was. I lied. I have no idea. Cause go I ahead and zoom into this. Normal. Go ahead and zoom into this. Let, let's show these people. Look, man. It still has the legs on that's it. That's an man. eyeball, man. That's a. And leg. That's some legs. Uh -oh. that, that is edible. crazy, man. That is crazy, man. But there you go, man. We're about to get our grub on. We'll get you some more info here shortly, man. Oh, but I'm man. about to eat this prawn. All right, man. We just got done with our uh, prawn. It's our prawn dish, man. That was a that was a strange dish. It was a little fish. It was like a giant shrimp, man. It was like a shrimp on steroids. It's like a shrimp on, on steroids. steroids. Yeah, yeah, like a shrimp on steroids. Um, it was pretty good though. I'm not gonna hate. It was yeah. a good pairing with the IPA. All Definitely. I um, I was not sucking out of its face. I was not gonna suck out of his face. Yeah. We don't have it. We don't have the head floating around, but this will be the part where we insert a photo. Yeah, bam, head. Right there, and you will see that head. It's very strange, man. That's what it looks like. It looks like a shocked fish. Yeah, it's, like it's in shock. Whoa! It's a petrified fish, man. Yeah. All right, man. So we got our next one. It's the bipolar high roller. Bipolar high. Roller, roller. All right, this is supposed to be a very chilly uh, uh, ha habanero. It's habanero. It's hot habanero. It's supposed to be really. Chi He's tasted it before. Woo! I haven't. Um, it's it's strong, man. It's strong smells, it smells like it smells like a stout. Yeah, it is. It's based off of a stout, but uh, habanero peppers to season it. Let's give it a Let's shot. Try it out, man. I told you that thing. It is hot. Oh my god. Your throat, man. It's gonna burn your dude. Throat. This tongue burns. Oh my god. This is a. Um, that is spicy, dude. This is a chocolate pepper stout. It's called Bipolar High Roller. It's actually named after a guy that uh, that did some metal work for us on some of our tanks at the brewery. Um, and he provided the peppers for the first batch. He brought us some peppers. Um, and then one of his friends was talking to me and said, oh, you met the Bipolar High Roller. And I said, that's an awesome name for a beer, so we'll name it. Um, so, so that's where the name came from. Um, but it is, uh, it is brewed with uh, with cocoa and uh, and with habaneros um, and scotch bonnets um, and uh, and so it is pretty spicy. Um, the base beer is very similar to the Medusa recipe. The first time we brewed it, 
um, was actually when we were just dialing in our system, um, we were trying to brew Medusa. Um, somebody told me once that um, if a beer ever goes wrong, put peppers in it. And, uh, and so what I did with the first batch was actually, uh, I said, well, hey, you know, it's not quite what we want it to be. We'll add chocolate and peppers. Of course, it was a big hit and everybody loved it. And so I had to make it again. So this is the second batch. This one's a little sweeter, uh, a little more chocolatey. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and uh, hope you're a chili head. All right, y'all, we finally got some food that I, I'm pretty interested in. You know, the, the food's been interesting so far. Uh, I hope this cleanses my palate from that bipolar high Dude, roller. Dude, this bipolar high roller is Woo! the most peppery shit, man, I've ever drained. But it's good. Um, we got ribs, though. That's the cure. We got some ribs. I think it's going to be good. I got a little bipolar high roller, a little bit of the Artemis Blonde left. I have none of that. To balance that out because that is <laughs> strong, man. I'm a <laughs> when it comes to pepper. I'm sorry, man. Oh, but we're about to give these wings. Man, go ahead and taste it, man. Let them know what it tastes like. Go ahead. That's good, man. That's good, man. Way so, to go. so we're about to chow down on some ribs, man. Enjoy this bipolar high roller, and we'll see you on a little bit. All right. So this is Warrior Heart. Um, this is the same uh, malt uh, profile as regular Sacred Heart, but we um, we actually increased the hops by 50% um, in the bittering additions, and then we double dry hopped it with Warrior and Citra. It was the last bit of Citra that we had. Um, so we won't be able to make it again like this. The next batch is coming out. Uh, we're making with Warrior and Zythos, but um, but double dry hop with Warrior, which is usually an early edition hop. It's usually only used for bittering. It's not often used for um, for a late edition hop. So um, so it's kind of a different uh, hop flavor to it. And this one turned out really tropical and much more tropical than I expected it to be, especially with the late hops being um, well half of the late hops being or half of the dry hops being Warrior. The other half was um, uh, Citra, so that one does have a lot of kind of lychee, um, you know, pineapple, mango character. Um, but um, on the other hand, um, the Zytho should have a lot of that as well, and we've added that to the next batch coming out. So we'll see. We'll see how the next batch compares. I think it's going to be a little more bitter um, than this batch. And um, really, my idea behind Warrior Heart is to make a more West Coast style IPA than Sacred Heart is, because Sacred Heart is a really, you know, balanced, really East Coast, really, really, um, you know, lots of complex hop flavor, but not a whole lot of bitterness. Um, that was the beer that I wanted to make for year-round use, because that's something that you can drink, you know, a growler of at a time. Um, Warrior Heart is going to be more the um, more of the ruination style um, of beer, Pliny the Elder, that kind of thing. Um, so. More, more bitterness, and you know we'll see. I mean, like I said, we're on the second batch. We'll see uh, if we tweak it any more after that, or we'll see how the next one comes out. So, there it is. This is the Warrior Heart, which it's one of my personal favorites. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And like he said, this is the only time it's gonna taste the way it does. It's not like y'all can taste it any <laughs> way, but I'm just saying, you know, it's gonna be a little again. different next time. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be probably just as good. Let's go ahead and taste it for these folks, man. That is hoppy, man. It, it is, is hoppy. It's, it's a double dry hop, man. It's double dry hop. You taste fruit. Yeah, like you said. You like know. you said, it's a little fruity, um, citrusy. It's good, man. It is good. I, I, I will say my favorite. It's probably my favorite. Tonight, period, that we will or have had yeah. is going to be this one, period. The next one is a Medusa style, which I'm not too big on stouts anyways. But it's a good finisher for a beer. Right, you know? but as, as my favorite overall tonight, that's right it right there. I will say the beer... And the food has gotten better as, as we got gone along. And, and I'm not gonna blame that on the buzz because I've been drinking four <laughs> ounces at a time, so I'm not that f***ed up yet. Here's the conquest. Conquest. Yeah. 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 Woo! 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 Little brewski, brothers. Yeah. Oh, All cheers. right. So, um, we had our, uh, of course, our Warrior Heart. The Warrior Heart IPA. Our sample. And, Double dry uh, hop. Yeah, and, and we got offered a, a pint. A pint, man. That's what we nice. love. That's why we love the folks at Conquest and the folks at Liberty, man. We're yes. sitting here enjoying, you know, the, give them the, grab the glass, grab the glass. Let's oh, show this them. One. Enjoying yeah. a little four ounce glass. And we said, hey, man, we want to do a pint. Can we get a pint? And you know what they said? Hell yeah, we'll give you a pint, man. You know what they are? They're beer friendly. Beer friendly. And that's what yes. we like to do, man. Let's, oh, let, let me turn this that. out, man. Yeah, oh yeah. Labels out, man. Labels. Oh, yeah. 
labels out. Oh, I was. I, I did a double take. Labels cheers, out. Cheers, man. Well, cheers. Well, cheers oh, that. Uh, with that Artemis. Watch the Brewski Brothers. Oh, there you go. Welcome to Conquest. There you go. Thank you, sir. There you go, man. Got, got I bet he's kind of an people, investor. Man. I bet he is an investor. And he's probably like these crazy I bet people. he is. It's all right, man. Because cool. he's going to watch this video and he's going to be like, man, those guys are talking about me being an investor. I'm like, yeah, man. Because you look like money, homie. He, look like he looks like energy. money. Yeah. He looks like money, man. And there we got our, our, our venison. I think it's going to be pretty good, man. We got our wonderful waitress hooking us up. Thank you, thank you. And I think we're about to give it a shot, man. Go ahead and bust in yours real quick, man. It's a knife. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got a knife, man. Oh, I feel the bone. I'm a knife. -er. All right, y'all, we're working on our uh, dessert right now. We got a Medusa stout. We got a Medusa stout. Hey, our homemade... A moon pie? Homemade moon pie. Oh. Homemade moon pie. The Medusa style and the moon pie. Let's go ahead and give this style a taste, man. Yeah. This is nice yeah, and I think quiet. We the last conversation. It's right? nice and quiet in here, man. We can rock it out. Oh. That is good. It's, it's so chocolatey. Chocolatey, man. I'm about to taste it. I don't care. See what it tastes like. That is fucking good. This is fucking good. Great dessert. I definitely did not do more than 50% of what we had tonight. I had my staff doing it as well. So they should all, all be commended at the same time. Um, now for this dessert, uh, again, what he was talking about, the flavor characteristics of this beer, uh, I was tossing around a couple things. He thought about a beer flow, he thought about an ice cream sandwich, and then the moon pie kind of crossed my mind. So uh, this, morning, uh, this morning I made a caramel marshmallow ice cream, and we made uh, sugar cookies, but we made them in a moon pie style. We didn't use any white sugar, it's all uh, brown sugar, which again will fit more with the uh, Medusa stout. Um, it gives it a darker, more caramel, maltier flavor. Um, so we had the ice cream with the cookies, and we just coated it with a uh, light top of ganache. And I hope everybody enjoys. Again, this is a, a twist on a moon pie, but I thought it was a lot of fun. And it fit the beer. Awesome. Enjoy your time. Y'all have a good time, man? Yeah! There you go. Now that, that now that's a happy customer right there. No, I love it. Alright, man, we're here with Nick. What's up, buddy, Nick, man? Good to see you down there, man. Tell us a little bit about what you do, man. Uh, I'm Nick. I run drinkblogrepeat.com. Drink, blog, repeat, man. The best SC news around, period, right? Beer news, SC beer news. I mean, I don't know anybody else got it. You said it, not me. You said it. I said it. I, I'll take the credit for it, man. He's like, I gotta be able to walk out this door. <laughs> <laughs> no, my ego, yeah, I got it. Let my ego stay Yeah, small. yeah, we yeah, gotta yeah, keep yeah. it small, man. But yeah, that's our buddy Nick, man. Drink, blog, repeat. You gotta check it out, man. We'll, we'll post some links on the Brewski Brothers page. Oh, yeah. Get you lined up, man. It's the best at SC Beer, Craft Beer News, period. Yeah, I mean, cheers. You gotta no boys. Yeah. Local Beer News, statewide, new brews coming in, going out. Everything you wanna know. Everything you wanna know, man. All you need under one roof. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're wrapping up our night. Wrapping up the night, man. I would say the Conquest Beer Dinner was a success. It was. Um, it was a success, man. Amazing. It was a good time, man. We got to hang out with Nick from Drink Blog Repeat, Repeat man, which is SC's best beer news, lo you know, location. Period. 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 End of story. Um, we spent a good time uh, with Joseph. Jo you know, Conquest. Conquest, man. Thank you, uh, Jacob, for hooking us up, man. With yeah. some tickets out, you know, to come out from to the Liberty, beer man. And Liberty Tap Room for just showing us love, man. Showing us love, man. It All was the a love. great event, man. The beer was great. The food was great. The staff was great, a man. Great time was I hate, by I all. hate the two Charles Horn, but two, two motherfuckers. Y'all did a good job, two. man. It was a good dinner, man. It was yeah. a real good dinner. Um, we appreciate all the love and support, man. Appreciate it, man. Speaking of which, um, we got a lot of photos, too. Good photos, man. Good, good people, video, man. man. It was a good time, man. Yeah. So, um, I guess this will be our final final sign-off for tonight. So Salute. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you won't.